Hi, this is Dr. Doresti with the Cranial Release Technique, and I'd like to thank my good friend, Dr. John D'Ambrosio, a Cranial Release Technique practitioner and chiropractor in New Jersey. He was kind enough to send me this article from the Journal of Neurology and Neuroscience, the hypothetical link between osteopathic suboccipital decompression and neuroimmunomodulation. In a nutshell, what the paper is talking about is how if we can decompress this area between the occiput and the atlas or C1 or the first bone in the neck, that will enhance overall function in particular of the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve, cranial nerve number 10, arises from the brain, exits through the cranium, and controls virtually all the glands and organs in the throat, the chest, and the abdomen. And we'll, I'll show you a slide on that in a moment. And of course, the beauty of this article is that it mirrors exactly what we do with CRT. In CRT, not only are we decompressing this occipital atlas area, but we're also opening and aligning the cranium. And the importance of that is that, if we switch to another slide here, is that the vagus nerve exits from this opening or foramen, which is called the jugular foramen. And the jugular foramen is made up of one side being the temporal bone, this bone here in the side of your head, and our friend the occipital bone, this bone here in the back of the head. So where those two bones sort of come together there's a little opening that's created, and that's where the vagus nerve passes through. That's the way we're designed. There's nothing you can do about it. The downside is, as we've spoken about in, in a lot of these videos, is that if these cranial bones shift, misalign, twist, whatever word you're comfortable with, become imbalanced, that little opening, the jugular foramen, will change and it will decrease in its size. And of course, if you've ever done uh, dissections uh, or cadaver dissection, you know that there's no spare room in the body. So all the blood vessels, all the nerves, all the tissue is packed into that little area. And if those bones shift and rock and there's increased tension now at that little foramen, at that little opening, well then, the vagus nerve can't function properly. And one of the things that they're bringing out in this paper is that the patient is more likely to suffer from overall inflammation, this stiffness, this swelling, which we know acute inflammation, you get an injury, your finger swells up, that's normal, that's natural. This is overall systemic inflammation that just stays with you over time, all the time, and people suffer with this. And so I'm, I'm very grateful that this doctor uh, composed this article, which I will link, I link in the um, show notes below. If we take a look at this slide, here's the vagus nerve. So virtually everywhere from here down, the vagus nerve is controlling what's called the parasympathetic response that's the healing, repairing, calming side of the nervous system to the lungs, to the heart, to the stomach, the spleen, to the liver, the pancreas. I mean, this is what's making you function optimally. The adrenal glands, the kidneys, the intestines, the lymphoid organs, the bladder, the reproductive organs and genitalia. So. Obviously, you want all these parts of your body to function optimally, and that's what the vagus nerve does, and that's what cranial release technique will do to enhance vagal nerve function. Again, just sort of to wrap this up, and then I'll leave these links in the show notes for you. Go to cranialrelease.com. You can click on the online training button, and that will take you here to watch this free video which I talk about how CRT changes function and benefits function throughout the entire body. And it's a very simple technique to learn. 
We've put everything online so you can learn it all in the comfort of your home or office. And I just wanted you to be aware of that as well. So again, back to our original slide, the hypothetical link between osteopathic suboccipital decompression and neuroimmunomodulation. Fabulous article. Thank you, Dr. D'Ambrosio. I'll link it in the show notes below. I wish you all a wonderful day. Dr. Doresti signing off. Adios, my friends.